This is WFTV Tonight. Orange County Sheriff said today they had no reason to arrest Mia Marcano's alleged killer when they first encountered him. Good evening, I'm Greg Warman. And I'm Martha Sigalski. Eyewitness News was first to tell you that Marcano's family confronted Armando Caballero the night that Mia disappeared. Investigators say he used a master key fob to get into Marcano's apartment at 4.30 p.m. on Friday, September 24th. She was last seen leaving her job at the leasing office of Arden Villas 30 minutes later. Then investigators say cell phone records show Caballero was at Timber Scan Apartments between 8 and 9 o'clock that night. Marcano's family says this cell phone video shows their confrontation with Caballero back at Arden Villa's apartments around six hours later. Caballero was found dead by suicide at a Longwood apartment complex two days later. Marcano's body was found this past Saturday at Timber Scan Apartments. And shortly after Orange County Sheriff John Mina spoke to the media today, the attorney for the family of Mia Marcano held his own press conference. Alexa Lorenzo joins us live now in Orange County. And Alexa, there's a lot of back and forth and finger pointing going on tonight. Yeah, Orange County Sheriff John Mina says the only person involved was Armando Caballero. The family attorney says he just doesn't believe that. The sheriff today told us that Mia's body was found bound with tape around her hands and her feet and tape across her mouth. At this point, the sheriff says there is no indication that she was sexually assaulted, but the family and their attorney, they want more answers and they want to know why exactly they did not detain Caballero when deputies first encountered him here that morning. Showing up here at four o'clock in the morning. Saturday, September 25th, 4 a.m. That's when Mia Marcano's family says they took this video confronting Armando Caballero at Arden Villas, almost 12 hours after Mia was last seen. A much better picture. The family attorney released it Wednesday, showing the family asked Caballero questions about Mia. And attorney Daryl Washington says he thinks the sheriff's office should have asked questions too. The questions that the family was asking him they basically had this guy about to say something. So imagine if you had trained professionals asking him that question. Orange County Sheriff John Mina says there was no probable cause or evidence against Caballero at that point. Our deputies are not permitted to arrest or detain someone based on a hunch or based on what someone else is saying. Detaining Caballero at 4.30 a.m. would not have changed the fact that Caballero left her body at the timber scan apartments between 8 and 9 p.m. Uh, the night before. Today, the Orange County Sheriff's Office released a detailed timeline of this case, showing Caballero was at Timber Scan Apartments between 8.20 and 8.40 that Friday night. Mia's mother called the Sheriff's Office at 9.23 to report she couldn't reach Mia. At 9.42, a deputy was dispatched to Arden Villas, and at 1.36 Saturday morning, Mia was entered to their system as a missing person. At 4.54 in the morning, a deputy met with her family, and that's when this video shows them confronting Caballero. This was not taken serious at all. The attorney also claims the responding deputy did not consider Mia's apartment a crime scene and allegedly allowed Mia's roommate in. The sheriff's response? We're going to look into every part of this investigation to see and to make sure that everything possible was done in our quest to find Mia. But he added. Unfortunately, all, all these things that we're talking about wouldn't have prevented anything. She was already left dead at Timber Scan Apartments before we were ever called. But there's still more information the family wants. There are just so many questions. So I asked. Sheriff, what have you been able to find about the circumstances? What exactly happened? And right now, does evidence show that she may have left her apartment alive? So that's again, that's part of the you know, the information that we're trying to, to ascertain and, and the reason we're continuing our investigation at, at this point, we just don't know yet. In that video, you can hear Mia Marcano's family talk to Caballero about obsessive texting and even about a cash app transaction. I questioned the sheriff about that and asked him if Mia and Caballero had previously dated or if he believed Caballero was harassing Mia. He says at this point he knows that Caballero showed repeatedly a romantic interest in Mia and she rebuffed him several times. Reporting live tonight, I'm Alexa Lorenzo for WFTV Tonight.